what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video to this video guys we are going to be doing a bendy and the ink machine tier list now you're probably wondering why am i doing a bendy in the ink machine one and not a bendy in the dark revival one well the thing is i thought we'd do this one first considering that's the order of the games i played plus i kind of want to do this one first because it would be weird if i did the second game and then the first game so we're going to be doing a bendy in the ink machine character tier list and i'm going to be honest i'm going to be very brutally honest with all these characters just know that um maybe your your favorite character has been left out here i'm actually not sure if this is all the characters i'm pretty sure it is i'll tell you if i miss any later on in the video but yeah guys we're going to be doing a character tier list so without further ado let's get right into it okay guys so starting here first of all i just want to point out that we have from the best to could be better and then we have eh not that bad and then we have the worst okay so starting off here we have the searcher i'm pretty sure that's what they're called um and this is just like the ink blobs from chapter two now honestly we didn't see much of these guys except for chapter five when they were just all running at us um and anyways i don't know it was they were okay they were very annoying got very pesky at one point so um they're classic they're classic bendy we love them either you love them or hate them i'm gonna go Hmm, I'm, hmm, I'm trying to think. I'm going to go eh, you know? Because I feel like you don't see much of them, but they're still classic characters that you got to love. Um, and they're the first ink creatures that we really have to fight anyway. So, apparently in Chapter 3, there's a secret thing which we definitely will try to get in the near future in Benny and the Ink Machine Chapter 3. You can unlock this boss battle. Um, and basically, it unlocks this big top hat searcher. Now, I'm not actually sure how to get it, but we'll have to do it sometime near in the future. But anyways, it's a huge searcher with, like, a big top hat or something. I haven't encountered this, um, but personally, the design looks really cool. So, um, I guess you can go not that bad. Um, definitely not as good as the first search. Everyone loves that one. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the old design of the searches um personally um from older gameplay that footage that i've seen after playing the game um the old searches definitely look really boring and bland and the ink effects aren't really that good i'll put it in order from like this is the very worst to the second worst you know sort of thing um so yeah okay next one we have i think this is the one with the top hat that we steal the hat that we steal in chapter two i believe um, we didn't really see much of him. I think it was that dude on the tapes, um, that was in the sewer anyways. Uh, I'm gonna say, again, just not that bad, because it's the same sort of searcher, but just with a tat, you know, it's the same thing reused. Right, this one, I'm pretty sure it's from Chapter 5 that we have to fight. Honestly, I like the design, it's cool, it's sleek. Again, I'm gonna go, eh, not that bad, as it is just, again, a searcher. All right, coming up to an interesting one here, we have the Lost Ones. Personally, I love these characters. Now, in Bendy and the Dark Revival, we see a lot of these. Personally, I'm going to go, could be better. Just so you guys know, I'm only going to go off this game. I understand the newer games have more involvement with them, but for this game, I'm just going to put it in here. Yeah, could be better, but they do have a great storyline. Okay, coming up to the next one, this is a big one. We have Bendy. Now, personally, I'm a bit mad that we didn't see too much of the Ink Demon in the first game. Like, sure, the jump scare at the start was, like, the big part of Chapter 1. Um, but we don't really see much of him except for if you accidentally end up finding yourself with him in Chapter 3. Which, honestly, on pur I kind of on purpose just ran up to him because I already knew I could hear him. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? I I'm not sure because we don't see much of him except for a few times when he just walks along slowly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put it in the best because, I mean, it's Bendy, guys. Everyone's got to love Bendy. You love him or you hate him, he's the best. Alice Angel. Now, this was a really, really, really interesting character um, that we learn a lot about in, in this one part when she's, like, walking to us through that glass screen and, like, reading the one of the witch gang members. You can really tell they put a lot of, lot of love in this character. Besides the fact that she makes me do a bunch of fetch quests, I'm not really sure. I kind of hate her, but um, honestly, personally, I'm going to put that in the best tier. One of the best characters in the Benny and the Machine that we actually get to know and love. Right, coming up next, we have Bertram Piedmont. Personally, this dude was so quirky in Bendy. It was just so weird seeing a giant head inside of a carnival ride. It still doesn't make sense to me to this day on why, why he's like that. But honestly, anything in this game doesn't make sense anyways. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put him in eh, because it was a really cool boss fight, and I have to say, I have to give you props. No, I'm not gonna put it in eh, I'm gonna put it in could be better, because the boss fight was really good, and that's probably one of the best boss fights that we even get in the game. Probably better than the Bendy boss fight, seriously. Um, but yeah, it's sort of just one of those easy boss fights where you're just gonna punch two things and boom, he's defeated sort of thing. 
But honestly, what do you guys think about that? I don't know. That's just my opinion. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. Okay, coming up for this one. Now, I see they don't actually have Boris on here. So, this is Brute Boris. This is the big scary one that sadly died. It's, it's so sad. I, I still don't understand why they did that. Um... I'm gonna put him here as the best because I mean it's freaking Boris and that's that he's gonna he's just gonna go second he's gonna go past Ellis Angel because Boris is like the cutest character in the game and one of the best characters ever um and I just hate that they killed him off but um I mean who knows all the other characters have been in the Dark Revival came back to life somehow so he's probably alive too all right so here we go well I guess we'll do all the Butcher Gang members now um considering yeah all right so we'll go to this first one I'm pretty sure this is the one who's like dude was decapitated I don't like his design that much. Um, yeah, like really, it's an it's an F for me. It's it's cool, um, but personally, I don't really like it. This dude, he he's definitely really good. He could be better, honestly. Um, I don't know. We we saw him once when he jumped out of the poster, but honestly, I don't really like the character that much. I right, coming on to the third member. Nah, just no. Right, coming up to this character, just nah. No, just, just no. I don't know. Something about this character just, I don't know. I didn't like him. He's annoying. Honestly, yeah, compared to the other designs, that character's a big step down. Like, I like his little arm thing that he has, but honestly, compared to the other ones, he's just, no. The arm thing, honest, okay, well, we, okay, I've said honestly way too many times in this video. I just want to point that out. I'll put a counter or something. There's like 50, geez. We kind of... We only saw him once, and I, I'm still trying to. I'm still on the assumption that it's not Bendy, because I feel like Bendy wouldn't just be in the ink with a huge hand. Because if he was that huge, he would have just killed us and gone bigger in Beast Bendy's mode. So when he was Beast Bendy, he could have just been that big, but decided not to for some reason. I personally just think it's a hand in the water, in the ink. Sorry. Um, yeah, we didn't see much of him. Uh, yeah, he's he's not that bad. Um, here we have the searcher. Worst. All right, we have the projectionist. The projectionist is really good. Um, personally, I reckon he could be better. Um, because I don't show much of him in the game. Plus, I just shot him up when we saw him anyway. I just grabbed the Tommy gun and I was like, splat, 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 boom, he's dead. Um. Oi! It was, it was really weird. I don't know. I wish we could have seen more of him. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? All right, now we're coming on to Sammy Lawrence. Like, this is an easy best tier ever. Like, seriously. I don't even know what to do now. Oh. What was that? Did my dude just hit me with a plastic cleaner thing that you sweep on? You know, you sweep the... Sammy is just such a good character, and the way they use him as, like, a cult prophet is just amazing. And the fact that he even returns in Chapter 5. Oh! Oh! Sammy! Dude, how are you alive? I was literally... It was just, a such, it was just such a big surprise. Um, I know they had been hinting it in the other chapters before, but um, I didn't really expect them to bring him back. And then just him coming back, and then that big epic boss fight, and then Tom coming and slicing him in the head. Like, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool to see. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a search for Sammy. I never saw this one, but I really like the design for it. Um, so I'm guess I'm just going to put it at eh. Because, I mean, the design does. I left, I left the best for last. Now, this is Beast Bendy. I love this form. It is probably the best thing in the game. Um, I will probably put it next, uh, I guess, yeah, I reckon Sammy could go behind him. Honestly, the, the Beast Bendy form was really, really cool. I love how they did with it. So there you go, guys. What do you guys think of my Bendy and the Ink Machine, um, tier list, character tier list? Honestly, I mean, if you guys want to see me do any other tier list of any other game I've played before on the channel, then I will do that, definitely. Um, I really enjoyed this. This was fun. This was new. This was something different. Um, I'm really trying to dip my toes in the water and different stuff to see what is good and what is bad for this channel and what you guys want to see more of, um, like by click-through rates. And if you guys did like this video and you want to see more, there's something down there below that is really good. I know that sounds sus, but um, yeah, it's called a like button. So all you dirty-minded people, get out of here. Um, but yeah, guys, um, this has been the Bending the Ink Machine tier list. I'm going to go film the Bending the Dark Revival one now. But yeah, guys, um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching. I hope I didn't make any Bendy fans angry. Um, just know that I didn't mean it in any mean way. I love all these characters in every single way. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.